Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Just tell Shrawal, and I will show my project, which is a vacuum cleaner. Uh, as you all may know, uh, what a vacuum cleaner does. But uh, I'll still tell you, uh, it works by collecting the dust or uh, settled on uh, various things, and it sucks it in. And then you can open it up and then uh, throw the dust in the garbage. So it works like that by sucking and then by throwing. So uh, I have made a model of it over here. Uh, you, this is the motor over here. It works like uh, this is a piece of wire, okay? Uh, a piece of wire. Okay. I'm going to put it in here and you can see that it is affected by the fan. You can see it is moving. So uh, it basically works like that. Uh, I have put a DPDT switch over here because I needed to do two functions. A DPDT uh, switch uh, helps in that. It, this has three modes. I can push it over here. I can push it over here. And then it is like this also. So when it is over here, it is off. Off. Okay. And when I uh, put it over here, it sucks. It sucks. And then when I push it over here, it throws. It, uh, it reverses the current. So it makes the motor also go the other way. Now you all may be thinking, how does it work? How does the DPDT switch work? It basically works like, uh, there are six uh, points over here. Six points. One. Two, three, three on each side. It works like this. The middle two are connected to the motor. Two wires from the motor are connected to the middle ones. Then uh, the other four on the on each sides. They these all are connected to each other. The two two opposite ones, uh, like one of this end and one of this end, these are connected by a wire and same uh, on the other two. Then these wires, these wires are connected to the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, don't you think um, if you would have prepared uh, some kind of a diagram or some visual of it, that would have been much easier? Because even you are finding it a little difficult to explain it in the midair, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Something you can work upon. Okay. Why don't you just tell me, tell them um, why this is being used? Why have you used a DPDT? So I told that uh, 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 this DPDT switch is being used because it has three modes. Off, then one is uh, uh, putting the car, uh, putting the motion of the fan clockwise, and the other is anti-clockwise. This will help in the uh, if it is in clockwise, it will it will suck in, and in anti-clockwise, it will throw. It can be vice versa also. That's why I'm using a DPDT switch because I need it to do two different functions. Okay. Because in and in, yes, sir. So there's a question. If you want to make the vacuum cleaner more efficient, if you want to increase the range, then what can we do? He wants to increase the suction. Uh, right now, uh, the the suction is not too good because first of all, the shape of the bottle. It is a little thin over here, which it does not help in sucking. And the other is the width of my fan. As it is smaller, it cannot suck as much as air as a normal, as a real life vacuum cleaner would do. I could have made it better by increasing the width of the fan. But then for that, the bottle width should also be increased. If the bottle width would be increased, and the fan uh, blades of the fan would also width would also be increased. Then it may uh, suck better. So the rota the number of uh, rotations a fan is doing every second does not matter. Is that so? So what is it also matters in that? Tethesh, let me complete. If you keep the width of the fan this much only, what you have, but you increase the speed of the rotation. Rotations per second, suppose it's 50 right now and you make it 100. Will that help? Will that, that will also help as it is sucking more air faster. So it will uh, suck it better. But for that, we will need a 
a higher battery, but I only had a nine volt one. That's why. Uh, what I, I, what, what yeah. about the number of blades on the fan? If the number of blades are increased. Uh, if the number of blades are increased, uh, it will not affect because the width is still the same. Width is still the same. But uh, but after some re research work, I've also found out that the blades, if they're more and twisted properly, it may increase because it happens like this when it uh, uh, this what's it called rotates. When it rotates, uh, the twist, the fan blades are little twisted over here. As uh, you may can't, you can't see it because of this wrapper. Remove it. Remove it. Uh, so now you can see it. Uh, it is twisted. You can all see it, right? Little twisted. So hold, it, like, hold it for a second in front of the camera, Tatek. Hold the fan here. Yeah. Look, no, it's just, you know. See, it's too much. It's too much, and uh, what the thing is just small. Yeah, that is what he was saying. Yes, ah, Tatek, go ahead. So it happens like uh, when it water, when the air, it it turns like this, right? So the air is on its. Uh, this uh, what's it called on its boundaries and uh, if the number of fans are more and they are all twisted it keeps it gets it gets the uh, air in as, uh, as you can see it is twisted over here so when it is uh, coming over here it is sliding on the surface of the blade it is sliding on the surface of the blade coming inside and inside it, it can suck better if it is only on the blade's edge it cannot suck better as it is only in the sides. If it is in the middle, it can suck better. That's why we also need to twist it and that's why the number of blades also matters. So the more the number of blades, better the suction would be. You're saying that? No. Yes, sir. Okay. We have our apprehensions about it. Um, I do not think that is the case. We might not need to discuss it more over this. Or <laughs> You said the shape of the bottle is a problem in this suction. How? How is shape of the bottle is a problem? That. Listen, listen, I'll tell you one thing. Did you the bottle where it is the width is getting smaller? No, over here in the middle. Where the yes, width over here. Yes, what I think is then so suppose the air is moving and the width is suddenly the uh, cross section area from where the air is passing through, it becomes less. The speed of the air increases, in fact, you know. What I mean? It increases. This if there is a reduction in the cross section area through which it is flowing. So it, I think it should increase the suction. Ah, that, is, that gives me an idea if you put up because uh, this guy, uh, John also did it. He placed a, see I'll show it to you. Can you see this? He placed a very yeah. deep pipe in front of it. Probably this would increase the suction because the cross section area is very small. The speed of the air is, will be larger as compared to this part. Yeah, uh, I also so think about. You might, uh, if you pipe, you could try, na, I think it would work. I think. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. I don't think so. Uh, okay. I, I forgot to tell you, I put a filter over here. A filter over here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's tissue paper and I put some holes on it. I put a filter over here as it does not let the dust uh, go inside the fan and it uh, jams it. So the dust doesn't uh, jam the fan and it stops rotating. So uh, hopefully I make the holes so uh, the air can pass through but the, uh, the dust will settle on it and it can't go through. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, do you want to see the other presentation?